In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the capabilities of the self-service console that comes with Auth Manager version 8.1. The self-service console allows users to help themselves for menial tasks such as pin resets, forgot my token, or requesting a new one. Generally, all of these involve the help desk directly. Using the self-service console saves help desk time and resources for other tasks. The console itself can sit in the DMZ under our add-on product in the web tier. In this case, this user is going to log in with their AD credentials, but other auth methods are available. Also note that the look and feel of this console can be controlled from a centralized place where you can replace the logo and other features. The landing page reveals a user's token destiny where they can manage things like their PIN, and get a list of tokens that they possess. In this case, this user has a software token installed on an Android. In the case where the user is at home and might be logging in in the middle of the night, leaving their token in the office would be a very bad thing. In this case, we provide a troubleshooting link where a user can manage the situation themselves. This list of capabilities is controlled by you. But in this case, token is temporarily unavailable is the option that we will take. Once the user has selected this option, this reveals a time-limited emergency access token code, which can be copied and used just like a normal token. The time access is limited by you, and it could be seconds, minutes, or days. This particular token can be used just like a regular one would. So in this case, I'm going to demonstrate logging into a Juniper VPN that is connected to my Auth Manager system. The user enters in normal credentials, including his normal token PIN. Pasting in the emergency access code now allows this person to sign in. And access is granted. In no place did a help desk personnel get involved. This saves the help desk resources and time to concentrate on other things. I hope this example has been informative and I thank you for watching this video.